Now he's calling me. Really, bro? Yo. Hurry up! Alright, that's not even my. You just got to the bar? Yes! Alright, I'm gonna be on the way. Alright. I think that was his mom. <coughs> She's like, oh, we got to figure this out. Should I go scoop him? Where is he still? Like by flowers. I typed over. Man. Like by, by Uncle Mike Grid. It ain't far, really. You always talking about stuff ain't far, bro. That's 20 minutes. That's, that's, that's 20 minutes there and back. So that's a combination of 40 minutes. This is the bar. This is where really a lot of your Athletes from PG County really come work out at, well, one of the places, you got this, you got On Deck, you have Nationals Youth Academy, but this is probably one of the places where a lot of people, or a lot of the big name people from PG County that play baseball come to work out at. I mean, so these are just different teams from the county, or from the region, really. Like, you got um, Archbishop Spalding, the Seahawks, I believe that's River Hill, or some, or South South River, something like that. But the, basically, all of these schools are basically just teams from um, Maryland and basically this area. About a year or two, about a year. I say about a year, about a year and a couple months. That's when I first got familiar with it. About a year and a couple months, with I was working out here with. Cam Johnson and Ray Smith. I think it's cool. I think it's good to have a place in PG County or another place in PG County where you can actually go and put in work and hit because there's not really that many cages in PG County that baseball players can go work out at. There's only about, indoor, really only about three cages that you can really go to. And I'm just happy that this one is here and it's close to home, so yeah. I mean, whenever you have facilities that you can use, just use them a lot. And always try to establish a relationship with other people that go here to where you can work out with. Um, and make sure whenever you have access to things, try to use it to your best of ability and try to always put work in and be a better player or a better person you can be. Always gotta rock the anklets, y'all. Always gotta have an anklet on. Always. Matthew May about to be here. This show, you gotta like this show too. Matthew May from the DMV. I went to Charles River Flowers High School, Virginia State Commit. I'll be there in the fall getting some work in. Now, here with Bryce today, working out all day. The usual. <laughs> I know Bryce since we was like little kids, like since we was like 10. Hey, and PG Select with each other when we was real young. When I was younger, my inspiration was Ryan Zimmerman, definitely. I went to a NAS game and I got like a little picture that they was giving out for free 
and I put it up on my wall when I was young. I was like, I always wanted to be like him. But yeah, I always wanted to be like him. I used to play basketball and football, but I was always best at baseball, so. I've been hitting at the barn since my freshman year, because Flowers used to work out here my freshman year. And then I just be here off and on because of COVID and stuff. It's helped a lot, like especially like with like catching. Catching, I've done a lot of catching workouts here, and that's definitely helped my catching game. And especially working out hitting, especially working out with coaches, or just working out with in general. I feel like it's gave me more confidence on and off the field. Show me how to be a leader. Show me how to be a part of like a brotherhood, especially at Flowers. I'm excited to meet my new brotherhood at Virginia State too. Uh, definitely would be named a starter as a freshman for the catcher position. I'm going to be batting over 300, and I want to make the HBCU All-Star team as a freshman. I mean, this ain't really a baseball area, so not too many people uh, supporting ba the baseball idea besides they just know that MLB players make a lot of money for real, but I just feel like it just gave me more motivation so younger kids have another option to get out of this area if they want to play sports and got to just play basketball or football, they can play baseball too. Good job! Yeah. So How much is your problem? Are you crazy, boy? It's for my health. Are you crazy, boy? I'm going to jump, I'm going to jump. It's $30, bro. And it's still a good quality. Let's cut some quick. Cut some fit. To, to me and me only. Well, I'm pretty sure I could let you know I'm I probably be with you. No, I'm waiting on stuff. I was at, uh, I had to go to Coffin to get my physical. Get some of that weight. Straight muscle. I'm, Cause I ain't even fat. So that's just straight muscle. 101. That Lamar might deserve that much money. Let's see what thought. I usually walk it for like 15 minutes. They said it to me, then they posted on Instagram, so it's like a lot of like, like over like 300 people supposed to be there. That's way too many people. 500? That's crazy. That. Okay. One minute and five seconds left. I got two minutes left. Oh yeah, you do it in two minutes. I know you hot though. Like I said, it's thin. I'm sweating a little bit, but like, you got to sweat a little bit. I'm not that hot. You got to shit on to that? We have to find Mr. Hatch. Bad. He's always here. His truck is here too. That's crazy, because juice. That's your juice right here, Haas, and then Kevin. I ain't know juice looked that little. I ain't know he was that little between that. So far, they still got this up. Okay. 
How you doing? But the fact that I know so many people from here and that I work out here so much, they just, they know me so well now. So I kind of got to plug in, like, I can, you know, I can utilize everything here. Like, show them the field. The field's beautiful. I know it's a Halloween. I mean, it may not be on Halloween, maybe the day before, but it's in October. Some, some slight, some, um, we, we ain't mocked it. Yeah, we hit bombs today, baby. I ain't gonna lie, I barely go out here. I go out every now and then. Like, I, I barely go out here, bro, because I'm more of like a line drive hitter. I hit like 500. Hey. Cap? Cap? I definitely hit bombs here before, boy. Uh, I'll, I'll put a few out. You ain't putting nothing out, boy. You ain't hit no bombs. This guy. This chat. Chat. Talking about some chat. chat. This ain't no chat. This ain't some chat. He is lying. He is no bombs. Chat. Put up a pole, chat. Chat. Put up a pole, chat. <laughs> Everybody was telling me that jump was hard. Y'all, y'all the only ones hating. Everybody was like, "That's a hard caption, Bryce." I was like, "I know." We're gonna do short rounds. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be eight. terrible picking up. Yeah. Get right. That's not that far. I mean, that's three. That's like three. That's four hundred. Yeah, I can. Yeah, that might be like four hundred. That might. Yeah, that done definitely is far. The farthest Bob ever hit was probably like three eighty. They did probably slide through the whole IG. Yeah, they seen the link tree and all that. All right, but next subject. You know what I'm saying? Got some good work in today. Yeah. It was a little slight day, though. Getting back in my like, Usually our days be way wilder. See these flies all on my legs, but, you know. Got some work Getting work in, grinding, getting ready for the season. Can't wait to play at Cobb State. Live my dream, play doing baseball. Hope we go, a while we'll go farther than that. What you got to say, Matt? Man, BSU Trojans all day, man. Ready for season to start. Ready for fall and all that. When the workouts, spring, all that. Straight, straight chips this year. Reality. <laughs>